Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I am Crypto Kip, and today we are going to be talking about a couple stories. One, obviously, the FOMC meeting with Federal Judge Jerome Powell coming out and announcing a, a interest rate hike of 0.25% today. This was a substantial bit of news causing quite a bit of volatility in the crypto markets. Maybe not as much as we would have expected, but still quite a bit of an up-down movement. And right now it seems like we are kind of trading sideways. We'll talk about what kind of comes next off the news of this interest rate hike and what we expect to be coming down the road for crypto. Uh, whether there's another interest rate hike coming or not, what kind of tonality Federal Chair Jerome Powell took during today's meeting, we'll get into that. And then also... President Joe Biden is looking at a 30% tax rate hike for Bitcoin mining in the U.S. And some people are very, very upset about it. Let's talk a little bit about it in this video, guys. If you like the content, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. We are doing five videos every single day for you guys. And at 10,000 subscribers, we're giving away $1,000 worth of Bitcoin to one lucky subscriber. So check it out, guys. The overall market cap is coming in at $1.178 trillion right now. Bitcoin dominance, pretty decent at about 47%. Bitcoin at $28,600, under 30 k still under $29,000 even. And Ethereum's under $1,900. If you look at these markets right now, seems to kind of just be trading sideways. Um, so that's kind of the reaction. Not a lot of news. We had a little bit of up down today and kind of trading sideways overall. But some people believed, <coughs> excuse me, some people believe that Bitcoin's rally might stall if Federal Chair Jerome Powell didn't signal and hint that the end of tightening uh, is coming. Well, he he did kind of hint at that. So it's still kind of up in the air, but you got to really read between the lines when you're listening to the words that Federal Chair Jerome Powell says. Looking at the recap, here's some of the biggest comments that he had. Um, it will take some time and in that world, uh, if that forecast is right, it would not be appropriate to cut rates and we won't cut rates. Uh, he says this after pointing out that a view that inflation is going to come down uh, not so quickly is something that him and the entire committee have in common. They really don't believe that inflation is going to come down in a quick way. So they're, they're leaving the opportunity and the chance of more rate hikes on the table. And that comes even as some banks are collapsing. He even said that it may be too soon to cut rates, but that doesn't mean that he's not willing to pause the rate hikes. So that could be good. The cooling of the labor market points to the possibility of avoiding recession. So he thinks maybe we don't go into a recession. And then he also makes some comments uh, on some of the banking issues. Um, Powell calls JP Morgan's acquisition of First Republic an exception. Uh, I think it's probably good policy that we don't want the largest banks doing the, these big acquisitions. That is the policy, but this is an exception for a failing bank, and I think it's actually a good outcome for the banking system. And he really does say that, uh, you know, he thinks that the banking system is pre pretty decently strong right now, but he also says that he did not have an agenda to continue consolidating banks, adding that he sees value in having banks of different sizes within the system. And that's exactly what I agree with. We do not want to have a monopoly in the banking system. We don't want JP Morgan to acquire all the regional banks and there to be four banks that any of us can choose from. And if that starts to happen, I do believe we'll continue to see more and more people move towards crypto. Um, and just looking at all these games, it makes me very, very bullish. So even looking at this comment, uh, crypto observers believe Bitcoin rally may stall if he doesn't signal the end of tightening. Honestly, whether the rates go up or down, we're watching all these games, all the levers being pulled, all the volatility around these decisions by Fed Chair Jerome Powell and uh, these FOMC meetings. And it just shows me really one thing, that this system is being propped up by a bunch of lever pulls and moving this around, essentially moving around deck chairs, what seems like the Titanic. And I think the best case really that any of us can do is to potentially jump ship and, and catch one of those life rafts before there are no life rafts left. And I think one of those big life rafts is Bitcoin. And now Joe Biden's coming after the Bitcoin and crypto industry by trying to add a 30% climate change tax on cryptocurrency mining. This will not fly. This is a clear attack on the crypto industry. I do not think this will pass. Uh, there are too many pro-crypto politicians now that would like to combat this. So that leaves me pretty optimistic. 
Right now, Bitcoin's actually turning green on the daily candle. So after all the volatility today, um, I said yesterday that I thought, hey, maybe this green candle could get up to the top, bounce off the bottom of this blue line, and then continue to break out. Now, so far, we just barely missed bouncing off the bottom of this blue line. Didn't quite hit the top. So we're kind of right in between these ranges. And I do believe if you take a look at the four hourly candles, look at this, guys. We had leading up to the FOMC meeting, a rally. Then we had the FOMC meeting take place. Red candles. Now we're rebounding. I would not be surprised, guys, to see a break above $29,000 in the next couple hours. I really wouldn't be surprised. And a potential move upwards towards $32,000 because I believe that everybody's looking for a life raft. And I believe that Bitcoin is that life raft. This is not financial advice, guys, but we do know that a bull market should be coming for crypto based on the history of this asset. So we're getting very, very excited. If you guys are trading, please, please, please take profits. If you got some meme coins out there, maybe you're holding some Pepe token. That thing is down right now, but looks to possibly be rebounding with Bitcoin. Just make sure you guys don't invest more than you're willing to lose. If you're taking risks, make sure you take profit along the way, guys, because we got a lot of money to make in this next bull run. Uh, and you want to make sure you have a position for when this thing starts absolutely soaring. That's all I got in this one, guys. I am Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel. And as always, you got to remember to DCA and HODL. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. I got two videos for you here if you want to check it out. Peace.